My writing process has remained the same for the last 40 years. Um, I have a room like this. I've always had a room like this. Not, not an overly large room, but big enough. There's no computer in this office. All my books are done longhand. I write on uh, uh, legal pads with number one pencils, and I write a first draft, second draft, third draft. There's three kinds of research. There's a field research. You go out in the field, and I've been to, you know, to Moscow and Vietnam, and I've been all over the world doing research for my books. And then there's a research where you do the library research. I say library, but it could also be internet. And the third type of research is the interviews. If you were trying to figure out what a doctor would be doing in this situation, you've got to go interview a doctor, a lawyer, airline pilots, uh, military men. Uh, a lot of people like to talk about what they do for a living, so I've always found that easy. But everything winds up here in this office at this desk, and a legal pad and a, and a pencil, and some research notes or some research printouts from the internet or sometimes research books. And uh, my books take about 14 to 16 months to write because I do a lot of research. I don't want to publish all my research notes, but I want to get that tip of the iceberg so that the reader is assured that I know what I'm talking about and that I have not made mistakes in the world of the book that I'm trying to create. And that's always a challenge too. Um, I have friends, you know, who can write any place. They write on airplanes, they write on the beach, and they bring their laptop. I need to be in one location, and this is the location. I don't even write at home, uh, and I won't write in a hotel room when I'm traveling. I will write only here. And I think it's good. I separate um, my writing life, which is here in this office, and nothing else goes on here with the rest of my life.